drivers come down the front straightaway with the 60th anniversary season opener for the NARC Fujitsu Racing Series here at the Dirt Track and KCRP. Make some noise for your racers. 410 wing sprint cars here at the Dirt Track at Kern County Raceway. We are underway, we'll stand. On the additional green flag, Golovic on the inside, Dominic Selzy on the outside, Selzy to take the lead into ring turn number three on the opening lap. Shane Golovic, go oh, bicycles in turn number four. Selzy dominates after the early caution and wins the opening night, 60th anniversary for the King of the West North Fujitsu Racing Series. Dominic Selzy is your winner here at the Dirt Track at Kern County Raceway. Battle for the lead intensifies. Justin Sanders to the inside of Tim Kading. Kading holds the line though. Shuts the door going through three and four. He'll drift up though. New leader Justin Sanders at lap number 21. Last night's main event winner to the top. Justin Sanders trying to double dip. Golovic about two car lengths behind TK. Squeeze play in front of your leader. Contact between himself and Sean Becker, but no harm, no foul. He continues on as the leader. Sanders, and at a turn number four, he'll win the 29 tribute to Dave Bradway Jr. Justin Sanders followed by Shane Golubic, Tim Kading. White flag out for Colby Copeland. Chase Johnson is second. Neto's gonna try the slide job underneath. Upside and sideways. Chase Johnson brings out a yellow flag. And finally, at the checkers, it's Colby Copeland. DJ Neto second, Jeff Ensign third. Off of turn number four, Brandon Bud Kading accepts the white flag. Bud smacks the wall hard over in turn number two. Bounces off of it, keeps on rolling down the back chute. Into turn number three, he drifts high, smacks the wall, and he's upside down. Bud Kading is upside down and the red flag is out. He's down the back straightaway, nice and low into three and off of four. Rico Abreu is going to win the Peter Murphy Classic. Jonathan Allard, welcome back. He finishes second. Neto third, Burnell fourth, Dominic Selzy fifth. 28 down, high drama here at the Pombo Sergeant Classic. Ryan Burnell's got two car lengths to make up. Bonsai move into three. Selzy turns it back down underneath him. Selzy walks the slider. Burnell's got some momentum into turn three for the final time. Selzy to the bottom. Burnell gonna rip the top off of turn four. Selzy got there by a car and a half. Third was Colby Copeland. Sean Watts collects the end hitch. White flag, one to go down the backside for the final time. King's dreams are made of your very first 410 sprint car victory comes here at Stockton. Sean Watts wins. DJ Neto second. Dominic Selzy was third. All right, race fans, give it up. First time winner, Sean Watts. Yeah. This time by two to go. Forsberg slides underneath the lap car now. Here comes Justin Sanders. That pitch Forsberg off. Down the back straightaway. Battle for the win coming up. White flags in the wave this time by. Sanders slides Forsberg. White flag is out. Justin Sanders takes the lead. Andy Forsberg back down low. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Looking for the double down bonus. Justin Sanders won the SECT feature. And he's going to win with the King of the West North Series. Justin Sanders gets it done. Ryan Riddell and Forsberg second and third. At the Speedway, things just got real. Ryan Burnell flies through the express lane on the top side, takes the lead. Ryan Burnell, your early leader, Billy Aton on the chase. Third is Chase Johnson fighting a tight race car right now. Ryan, or Ryan Burnell up on the rear end of the 28, Nathan Rome. 
as he's now got a little bit of a gap, about one and a half seconds over Billy Aton. Ryan Burnell into Nathan Rolfe. Over there, he takes Clint Simpson with him. There is no place on earth as treacherous as Petaluma Speedway in traffic, and you just saw why. Your leader and point leader, Ryan Burnell, comes to a stop in turn number four. Into turn three, and off of turn four, your winner is Chase Johnson. Chase Johnson wins it. He had heavy traffic, Billy Aton pulled it off for the number 17, and uh, John Kellebeck at the zero of Bud Katie. Katie's got to run off of four. He gets up alongside of Shane Kellebeck. Now he goes to the high side. Bud Katie moves to second. But here comes Bud Katie going to the bottom. Aton knows he's there. Bud Katie slide job, turn four. And Aton can't come back. Bud Katie out from Aton second. Ladies and gentlemen, two time winner, Bud Katie picks up the victory. Bud Katie, who is uh, enjoying his victory lap in the Maury Williams Alviso Rock number zero, the famous Katie. Let's do some donuts. There he is, he crosses the finish line. How about that? I'll let him hear it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a tremendous drive. In the rest of the field off of turn number four, it's showtime at Santa Maria. Leaders banging wheels on the front straightaway as Nathan Rolfe and Chase Johnson get together. Johnson got a power move back around the outside of Bud Katie. We race down the back chute. Nathan Rolfe, your leader. Chase Johnson, Bud Katie, your top three. Jeffrey Stroll, the first car encounter of lap traffic. Rolf upstairs, Johnson trying the middle, got a little tight on the right front. Took the air off the nose of the 68 car, Bud Kading lurks in third. Rolf trying to make a move around, Burt Fuller, Chase Johnson side by side for the lead. Down the back straightaway, Johnson uses Burt Fuller as a pick. Rolf gets tied up behind Burt Fuller, Chase Johnson just going to lead lap number six. Six down, 24 to go, Chase Johnson, Nathan Rolf. He, he pitches it into turn number one. Selzy tries to rip the lip, Rolf. Slides on the racetrack, Selzy with a diamond move, Dominic Selzy to second. Down the back straightaway with a run. Selzy's gonna go upstairs, Johnson gets tight. Selzy slides on the racetrack, he crosses them over. Side by side, Dominic Selzy gonna take the lead. Selzy takes the lead on lap 28. 28 down, two to go. Dominic Selzy, like an ace in traffic. This to the inside of Jenna Frazier, white flag, one to go. Selzy's gonna rip the lip. Johnson to the inside. Your race is for the lead again down the back chute. Selzy crisscrosses down the back chute. Slides up the racetrack. Johnson this side. Dominic Selzy is gonna win it. Green flag is back out. And a one and two. Larson looking to the outside. A call of it down the back straight away. Shane leads the field. And a three and four. Larson once again drives hard through the middle side of the speedway. He's gonna take the lead. Lap 26 led by Kyle Larson. The first time in his career, Kyle Larson is gonna win a 410 sprint car race at Placerville Speedway. He wins the Gold Country Showdown. Tim Kading receives the white flag. Down the back stretch. And returning back to victory lane. Thursday night Thunder main event winner, Tip Kading with a big wheelie as he crosses the start finish line. Croft third to Tim Kading. Race for the lead down the front straightaway as they click off lap number 10. And a turn one, TK's making a move to the inside of Selzy. You've got a new leader. His name is Tim Kading. Down the back straightaway into the final set of corners. The 2019 Champions Classic is going to go to TK, Tim Kading. Fastest four days in motorsports with two wins and two third place finishes. Give it up for Tim Kading.
Shane Golovic slows. And up front, they'll battle for the lead. Dominic sells E to the inside of Chase Johnson. Chase Johnson holds on to it. Gets a little loose. Here comes Willie Croft. Sells E to the lead. Here comes Croft. White flag in the air one final time. Chase Johnson with something wrong. He slows dramatically. Checkered flag this time by Welcome Dominic Selzy. Winner night number one of the Louis. Followed by Croft and Bud Cady. Now on a back straightaway. He won here in April. And tonight he's going to pick up a career best fifth. King of the West win of the season. Dominic Selzy gets it done. Second place is going to go to the zero of Bud Cady. And in third, 21 Ryan Burnell. Closing in on Facento. And to one and two, Mitchell goes down low. That's what Rico wants to see. Here comes Abreu. Down the back straightaway, battle for the lead. And a three and four, Abreu so smooth through the middle, he'll take the lead. Rico Abreu leads lap number 10. And a three and off a of turn four, Rico Abreu gets it done with the King of the West Art Series. He wins his second Cotton Classic with four tens. Second place to Bud Cady, third to Corey Elias, fourth Chase Johnson, and fifth Dominic Selzy. Someone's gonna be a hero in Stockton tonight, and we are green. Clean and green into one and two, a determined Shane Goldix on the hammer and out front early and quickly pulls away from championship contender DJ Neto. Yeah, Neto runs second right now. Facento trying to roll the bottom around him. Good battle for that spot. Neto doesn't want to give it up. He wants that championship desperately. Meanwhile, back up front, DJ Neto's got Nathan Ruff in his crosshairs. He marks on the ninth lap, but he continues to lead by a half straight away. Willie Croft ducks to the inside of DJ Neto. Croft moves around Neto. Neto falls back his spot. Chase Johnson right behind Neto. Then you've got Facento. champion.